Hi everyone, Miss Tomlin and Lucy here. Today's lesson is all about weather conditions. And today we're going to talk about temperature, cloud coverage, wind, and precipitation. We really hope that this lesson enlightens you. Enjoy! Hi Lucy, I'm a meteorologist. What's that? A meteorologist is a scientist who studies the weather. We use tools to gather, measure, and record weather data. We then use this information to make predictions about weather conditions. What type of weather conditions can you measure? Some examples of things you can measure are temperature, cloud coverage, wind, and precipitation. Let's start with temperature. We use a thermometer to measure how hot or cold something is. On a hot day, the thermometer will show a warmer temperature. When the thermometer shows it is a hot day, you'll want to wear clothes like shorts, t-shirts, or sandals. Or sunglasses! On a cold day, the thermometer will show a lower temperature. Urgh. When the thermometer shows it is a cold day, you'll want to wear clothes that keep you warm. Clothes for a cold day could be sweaters, coats, mittens, earmuffs, and boots. Fashionable and functional. Next, let's talk about cloud coverage. Sometimes when you look up into the sky, you can't see a single cloud. Where are they? The sky is cloudless, clear, and sunny. Here are some pictures of a cloudless sky. Sometimes the sky is partly cloudy. Did you say party? You look up into the sky to see a lot of clouds. They are covering about a fourth to half of the sky. Here are some pictures of partly cloudy. The sky can also be mostly cloudy. This means that there are more than half of the sky is covered in clouds, but not quite 100%. Here are some pictures of mostly cloudy skies. When almost all or 100% of the sky is covered in clouds, the sky is cloudy. Ray it on me, where did the sun go? Don't worry, Lucy, the sun is still in the solar system, beaming light rays down towards the planets. It's just at this location on Earth, the sun's rays are going through thick cloud coverage and it's not as bright here on the ground. Good to know it's just cloud control. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> ha ha. Here are some pictures of cloudy skies. Next, let's talk about wind. One instrument used to determine wind direction is a weather vane. The weather vane spins to show the direction of a wind. Underneath the arrow are the symbols for north, south, east, and west. Sometimes it's a calm day and there's no wind. There are also breezy days. These can range anywhere from a light to a strong breeze. In light breezes, leaves start to rustle and wind vanes will start to move. My pinwheel also works great in a light breeze. This picture was taken when there was a light breeze. Breezy can range anywhere from light to strong winds. As the wind picks up speed, you might want to put on a jacket, Lucy. Some terms for wind conditions stronger than a breeze are gales, storms, and hurricanes. You don't want to be outside when the wind is too strong. Now, let's talk about precipitation. Precipitation is any form of water falling from the clouds. It can come down in several forms. Here are some examples of precipitation. Rain. Ah, it's raining cats and dogs. Ah, dogs. In rain, you'll want to wear a raincoat, rain boots, and grab an umbrella. Oh, thank you, Lucy. You're welcome. You can use a rain gauge to determine how much rain has fallen. Here, about one inch of rain has fallen. Here, about two inches of rain has fallen. 
Snow is clusters of ice crystals falling to the ground. Hail is also a type of precipitation. Hail is when thick chunks of ice fall to the ground. When it is hailing, you want to go inside where it is safe. Sleet is another type of precipitation. Sleet is a mixture of rain and snow falling to the ground. If it is sleeting, you'll want to go indoors. I'm glad we're inside. Me too. Did you learn a lot about the weather today, Lucy? I sure did. Birds of a weather flock together. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know it all about the weather, you can collect, measure, and record the weather conditions. Bye everyone.